Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make some lovely soji ball, which is Hazel's recipe. She shared the recipe with me uh, for me to show the viewers how it's done because the time was very limited and she couldn't complete uh, making soji ball. The ingredients are I have one cup, 250 ml semolina, one and a quarter cup of fine desiccated coconut. Yeah, I have two tablespoons of ground almonds, of which I used my spistol and motto. Thereafter, I have two tablespoons of sesame seed, and I did use the sieve to rinse it out. Normally, they have sand in, be very careful. And half a teaspoon of elaichi powder. To go wood, I have half a can of tin milk. And for my syrup, I have half a cup of sugar to quarter cup of water. And then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of ghee while it's boiling. I have my pan heated up uh, to a moderate heat. First, I'm going to put in my sesame seeds to fry in a dry frying pan. And I'm going to get this roasted out. Okay, how do you know it's getting roasted when these seeds start popping and it's roasted so now I'll take it off otherwise we'll get it all jumping out I pour it into my mixing bowl and then what I do is I have a red coloring I just put a few droplets red coloring to my sesame seed and give it a good mix so it brings in a color to the soji ball now while the pan is still hot I put in my cup of semolina and I also will bring this to a reddish fry. I'll be stirring it all the way till it turns a little golden brown. This recipe, I tested it last week. It worked out really beautiful. This will take a little time to brown. Now the semolina is browned up lovely into a golden brown finish. So don't make it too dark. Put it straight into the mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add in my desiccated coconut. You had to decrease your heat because the desiccated coconut fries very quickly. As you can see, if it's starting to turn a little golden brown, to this point you can add maybe a little bit of droplets of different coloring to make the soji ball look attractive. Ok, 
Okay, this is also done. So I'm not going to switch my stove off because I'm going to start making the syrup. I'm going to use the same frying pan to make my syrup instead of making some other pot dirty. I just wiped it up and it's quite hot. So I'm going to put in my quarter cup of water. Half a cup of sugar. I'm going to do it very quick stir. So the sugar dissolves. Gradually, I'm going to add in my butter ghee, which is a tablespoon. So while the ghee is melting, this is what I want to do, is to take uh, my crushed almonds, add it to the other ingredients and stir this very well and then even add in my elaichi powder and stir this all together so you can see the pink color of the sesame seed you know your syrup is done when you see these bubbles because you're working with just quarter cup of water so we can't allow it to cook till it's very thick so you can see it's still runny so I'm going to add this switch my stove off and add this to my dry ingredients and don't use your hand because sugar burns always use your spoon to mix in your sugar very well and then I'll allow this to cool just a little so I can use my hands to handle okay it cooled a little but it's still warm to the touch don't handle while it's very hot and you cannot cool it completely then it will start sticking on its own so gradually I'm going to add in my tin milk little at a time to form a dough I can see it's all getting coming together in a sticky way now I'm gonna just wash up my hands now the dough is ready I'm gonna just form them into a little ball and if you feel the dough is still a little dry and you need to add a little bit more tin milk to it so it can become sticky this is how you take a little portion and just round it with your hand and in the meantime I have my other hand which is a little damp with water so we can help to give it a good turn and then you place it onto your tray with some wax wrap and you can continue you can decide how big you want to form these ball 
and you don't need to uh, put it into your fridge to set they will just set automatically on your tray if you keep this in the fridge it tend to get very hard you rather not put it in the fridge but just make it the day before Diwali this is a very quick soji ball uh, recipe and uh, I'm going to keep uh, making till I finish and always remember to keep handling it while it's still warm don't leave it aside because it will dry off very easily it makes depend on the size that you are making it makes one and a half dozen thank you all very much for watching and all the very best for your Diwali preparation